Yo, what's up YouTube? I'm back with another video. Now, some of you may or may not know, Nike released a pair of sneakers last night. So-called shock drop, but I guess it wasn't really a shock drop because everyone on Twitter knew about it. So, Nike, they went ahead and released the Air Jordan 5 Jordan Reds, same night as the Last Dance documentary on Michael Jordan released. So, a lot of people, they were going crazy about it. They wanted the sneaker. Also, on StockX, some of the uh, some of the Jordans went up in the price. So, if you're looking to resell your Jordans, uh, you can just check that out on StockX. Prices went up a little bit on the He Got Game 13s and the... Uh, um, I'm pretty sure to join 11 breads those went up like 20 bucks pretty sure yeah without further ado let's get straight into today's video hope you guys enjoy the sneakers that i talk about without further ado Coming in at number one, of course, Jordan 5 Fire Reds. Just did a shot drop on these literally last night. Coming in at number one, we have the Air Jordan 5 Jordan Reds. They just did a shot drop on these Sunday night at 9 p.m., same night as the Jordan documentary release. I wasn't really able to get my hands on these. My opinions on these are gonna be, I'm not really a fan of Jordan 5s. I feel like they're too bulky on my feet, personally. I went ahead and passed on those. Uh, these will be set to release May 2nd, full size range, family size, kid size, preschool, all that. If you want these, you should be able to get your hands on these. I don't think the stores will be open uh, because of the coronavirus, so you might just be able to get these online. If you want them, I'm pretty sure you'll be able to get them. I don't think they'll sell out. Uh, I don't think there's really that much hype behind this sneaker, but who knows? The resale value may go up in a couple months. There's no there's no telling at the moment. Those will be set to release May 2nd. Retail 200 bucks. Coming in at number two, we have the Air Jordan Game Raw ones. Lately, I've been copying the most recent Air Jordan ones that were set to release. Recently, I got the core purple ones. I got the pine greens. And uh, yeah, those were the only ones I got recently. These will be set to release May 9th, retailing for 180 bucks. Compared to the OG colorway, I'm really feeling the OGs more than this pair. This pair reminds me more of the Motorsport 4s because the white that's in the middle. Other than that, I really like this sneaker. I'm not saying that I don't like the Motorsport 4 colorway or the Jordan 1 Game Royals. But you want these, these will be set to release May 9th, retailing for 180 bucks. You want them, get them. Not to keep nagging you with the upcoming Jordans that are set to release, but there is another pair of Jordan 4s that are set to release May 16th. There's going to be multiple colorways. It's called the Air Jordan 4 Metallic Pack. Something that I feel like they could have did with these were they should have just made like the pull tabs like interchangeable. Not the pull tabs, but the shoestring tabs where like the shoestrings go in. They should have made those like interchangeable where you can change the um the colorway of it. You can do whatever you want. I don't know. I feel like it could be a more creative shoe. Being that these shoes are retailing for 200 bucks just for like one colorway, even though it's like five shoes that's releasing with like an orange green purple red i don't know i just feel like you should be able to change the uh shoestring tabs to different color that way you won't be going out spending 200 bucks on multiple sneakers if you just wanted one pair up next easy did release a three-pack colorway of his brand new slide to me these honestly look weird i don't really know how they look on feet i haven't seen any pictures other than that they look pretty comfortable i don't know like i said i haven't tried them on or anything but they do look comfortable they just look weird to me super weird to me i'm gonna pass on these maybe if a pair slipped into my hands i'll try them on i don't really know other than that i'm not feeling these at all i'm pretty sure these did sell out right when they released so so it might be pretty hard to find these there's also been conversations that Nike and Undefeated are going to do another collab on an Air Max 98, but um, who knows if this is real or not. I saw this on Twitter. There are three colorways. One is going to be a green with a metallic, like a green metallic. The next pair is going to be a black with a lime green like stripe on it. And then the other one is a cell colorway. I'm really feeling the cell colorway out of all of these. There's no set release date on these, but um, like I said, I saw these on Twitter. Who knows if this is even real or not, but you know, if it is, just know I gave you guys news first. Yo, y'all wanna know what's crazy? Yeezy is doing another restock on a pair of 350s, and guess what pair it is? I'm gonna give you guys a second, just guess. Another restock on the Zebra 350s. These restocked, I believe, three times already. This may be the fourth time. If I'm wrong, it could be the third, because I, I know they released them twice already. But it's like, at this point, how many times can you restock a sneaker before it's old and before people don't want to buy it? I don't know, it reminds me of the Adidas Ultra Boost when they kept doing restocks on those. People pretty much got annoyed of it. They didn't want to get them anymore. They just started, they, I don't know, they just started releasing too many different colorways to where it got annoying, to where people didn't want them anymore. They only wanted the simple colorways. Because the simple colorways, in my opinion, do better than all the other weird colorways. But if you don't have the Adidas Zebra 350s, I suggest getting them if you don't on them yet i might be getting a pair myself but don't look forward to reselling these because like i said they did release like three times already so um yeah if you want go get them and uh yeah that's pretty much all the sneakers that i have for you guys in today's video if you guys enjoyed this video make sure you leave a like leave a comment below let me know if you guys ended up watching the last dance uh documentary on michael jordan last night i wasn't able to watch it so hopefully i can catch up with that maybe tonight find it online or something that's it for today's video peace uh, you is a lie, uh, you is like a